This little library was built by a group of friends. Hand me a different book, please. Um, we have to paint it. Brother. And we had to attach everything together. We had to like make sure that we knew what we were doing, and then we had to discuss the details before we actually did anything with it. Stephanie Searcy says her daughter's Girl Scout troop built the library as a service project. The thought behind it is that it would be freely available to all the children here at the school and in the entire community, whoever wanted one. The school even has one of its own. Librarian Sherry Diamato says the school donates books and monitors both because they want kids to have access to books all the time. The school library is not always open. We're not here on the weekends and we're done by about 4.10 each day. And the public library is not open all of the time. These little free libraries are always open and you don't need a card, you don't need any money. Little free libraries can also be found in less expected places like this bakery. Store manager Kristen Brabrook created it to share her love of reading. I own more books than individual pieces of clothing. And she keeps buying more books to keep her library fresh and appealing. People come in and usually for cupcakes and they'll see the library and they'll come over and they always ask if it costs something. I'm like, no, you know, it's help yourself, please take it. I think it's nice. Um, you know, it's not a necessity, but it kind of makes the atmosphere a little bit better. The idea behind the Little Free Libraries was born three years ago in Hudson, Wisconsin, when former teacher and book lover Todd Bowl built a miniature model of a library. I originally built a library to uh, honor my mother, and I built one and put it out in the front yard, and I never planned on building another one. It was just one and only. But his neighbors loved the little wooden box with the books. And that inspired him to set up the Little Free Library organization to spread the idea. There are now more than 2,500 little libraries across the United States and beyond. We've been called by the Huffington Post to be a growing international phenomenon. Getting young people excited about the concept keeps the trend growing. Kendall Clare, who built Centerville Elementary's Little Free Library with her friends, says she'll miss it next year when she's in middle school. It's good to know that there's always going to be a piece of me here for, like, to me be remembered by. A happy ending in any book. For writer Fiza El Masri, I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News. Yes.